All right, so last night was kind of sketchy, kind of a, a little bit of a rough night, like usual. Did my research too late, um, once I was already out here and committed, because there wasn't no hiking back from here in the dark. Uh, a bunch, do a bunch of vines and thorns and thick forest with a huge pack. So that wasn't happening, but I did my research last night. And this is like, um, very bare prominent area like there's um apparently a good bit of them around here especially since you got the lake out there like uh, thick woods and huge water supply so all right because i do have service out here and i gotta be damned <clears throat> if it's not a i forgot what the word it used was but it's like hey it's it, it's prime prime real estate for bears because you got plenty of room to move Plenty of food. There's deer everywhere. Um, squirrels, rabbits. <laughs> Freaking field back there look like natural tomatoes growing in it or something. Some kind of, all kind of food here. So, I'll start sketching out. I'm, I'm way out here. <clears throat> Can't see nothing but the little bit of, you know, like my fire's giving off. Got my flashlight turning, trying to save the batteries, but turning it on every now and then because I keep hearing stuff. But sure enough, uh, about time to go to bed, something right over down there I'll try to get up. right down there past that down tree back there a little bit I shot him a light there but I couldn't see anything but the thing was <clears throat> the water's here something big wasn't no little squirrel or raccoon or something like that no there's something big stomping around down there and it wasn't a deer either because deer don't step on and break sticks constantly this was something heavy and big, just, just stomping around down there. And I was like, oh crap, I just got to where I let the fire go out because I was about to go sleep and I didn't want it, you know, I'm kind of on this little hill and it's going up that way, but like <clears throat> wind could blow it, fire any different direction right here. Everything down here, there's so much dead, dry stuff right here, it's just... I, that could have been a, a mess in itself. <clears throat> have a big fire blazing. Anyway, here it is, big stuff stomping around in there. Fire's just going out. I'm getting ready to lay down. I'm like, oh, hell no. So I uh, grab my flashlight and I come over here, kind of post up, freaking freezing. Um, I was down in the 30s last night. <clears throat> Got my gun, my flashlight, freaking legs shaking. I'm like, oh, hell, <laughs> this is it. Uh, <clears throat> but I screamed out because you do your research most of the time black bears don't want to have nothing to do with people uh, they want to see us just, just as little as we want to see them because you know survival of the fittest is the wild you know most of the time animals are not going to try to come at somebody or something but uh you know it's kind of like uh, the path of least resistance they're gonna they're not going to try to do something that could cause they're about survival animals want to survive obviously humans are a threat to that but uh some bears don't give a crap um there's a bear attack just last month where one got up in somebody's vehicle with two people in it and attacked them for their food so and i made the mistake of coming out here i got out here too late to hang my food anywhere so i'm sitting there with a bag full of food Sitting right beside my tent, just and plus plus other scented things. Got my beard oil in there, got my toothpaste, got uh, all kind of things in there, just scented. Um, so big whoops on my part. I didn't know. I figured the bears would like majority would be more up in the mountains than right here, but apparently this is like big time spot. So anyway, I, I took my bag, which. Took it up uh, a little ways up the hill there and put it, there was an uprooted tree and I put it, put my bag in the hole where the tree had come up, uprooted. Left it there, just kind of prayed that nothing got into it. I don't know. Anyway, when I started yelling at, back to the bear thing, bears don't want to encounter with people, so I started hollering out like, hey, go on, get out of here now. Screaming and I could hear it stopped around and it stopped when I screamed and I didn't scream, yelled and uh, 
I got a little closer and I kind of stomped my feet, you know, trying to scare it off. But anyway, whatever it was, it went off back that way. So, um, couldn't hear it no more. Thank God. But I don't know if it was a bear, but I don't know what else it could be. Something big. Wasn't no little critter. Was, this thing was stomping and breaking sticks. And, uh, so yeah. But anyway, rough night. But I uh, made it through. Froze my butt off. Got up this morning uh, about 6.30. Beautiful, beautiful spot out here. Kind of perfect little spot for camping. Only problem is with the wind blowing the fire around <coughs> right here. But we're out here making it. Uh, about to pack it up and move on down the road. I don't know where I'm going yet, but... North Carolina, baby. Mountains and lakes and bears. and it's real out here. <laughs>